Troopers, welcome home, national champion. You have thrilled and inspired millions of American people. But most of all, I think they've been inspired because you have reinstilled pride in America at a time when pride needs to be reinstilled. And for this, we are grateful. The troopers were the most powerful marching unit on the field in the entire country. But I'm telling you, this crowd's here to see us tonight. There's a lot of hype, there's a lot of people, ticket sales have been off the charts here. I was talking to George. My dad is a man that's full of emotion, and um, he, he loves seeing people be successful. And I can, I can say that for 32 years that I've, that I've known him, that he's always pushing, he's always pushing the person, the group, whatever it may be, to, to get to that next level. I think that, you know, especially now, since we're going through some pretty unstable times as a nation, we're going we're gonna to go back and try to find what really rings true to the character and ideals of the American people. The world has looked upon the American West as a land of opportunity, a land of courageous people striving for a new kind of freedom. The troopers, in name and appearance, reflect our Western heritage. They bring to mind the people who lived in the covered wagons, who built the sod huts, plowed the ground, raised the cattle, and made peace with the Indians. The troopers, in name and appearance, are what America was. The young men and women under the trooper banner are what America is.